Some time ago, I dropped my 10k editing pack. And if you've been watching me for a while, you've probably noticed something. I'd been so inconsistent, not because I was lazy, not because I didn't care, but because I was fighting something, something that made even the smallest tasks feel heavy. Editing felt like climbing a mountain, and I understand that the pack must have not meet your expectations. I don't usually talk about my personal life online, but this time it felt necessary. Now about the pack, it was almost completely free. The only thing locked behind the members only tag was thumbnails and 3D texts. Thumbnails, something only creators actually need. Because as a creator, I also believe in giving value to the people who support me financially. And in the middle of all that noise, some of you stood by me. You reminded me I'm not alone, and I won't forget that. So here's my message, clear and simple. If you don't like the content, you're free to leave. This journey ain't for everyone, only the real ones. All right, first things first. Let's make sure your video settings are locked in for top-notch quality. Next, we're setting up the background. I've linked all the materials you'll need down in the description, so just follow along, step by step. Now it's time for the star of the show, our 3D text. This is the most important part, so pay close attention. Adjust the text size and spacing to fit your scene perfectly. And yeah, don't be afraid to get creative here. The more you experiment, the more you learn. All right, now we're jumping into the animation. This part's crucial, so stay focused. Trim your video right to this point.
Make sure to use the exact same graph settings I'm using here to nail the animation flow. Looks like a few keyframes got placed at the wrong time. Let's fix that real quick. Now I'm duplicating the text. One layer will act as the glow, and the other as the stabilizer. If you're confused about what that means, check out my Deep Glow text tutorial for a full breakdown. We'll start by working on the stabilizer layer first. Alright, now we're moving on to the glow layer. This part's all you. Feel free to use your own style and creativity here. It's the perfect place to experiment. Now comes the final phase. We'll be working on the transform settings for our text. Your outro's basically done at this point, but if you want to take it up a notch, this next part is optional and helps make it more professional and eye-catching.
we've officially wrapped up the entire process. Thanks a ton for sticking around till the end. I hope you learned something valuable.